Turkish get up. This is a great way to work on your core strength and your shoulder mobility at the same time. This is a very complex movement and it can be broken down into many steps and should be followed the right progressions before moving on to the loaded movement. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a kettlebell to start and I'll show you the whole movement to start up and then we'll run through it in basic steps. So from here we're going to take the kettlebell, we're going to bring it over and roll over from here and you can press up with either one hand or two hand. From there we're going to be having our knee bent on the same side that the kettlebell is up. Your opposite hand is going to be lying out to the side. So knee bent on the same side the kettlebell is up, elbow out to the side, hand out to the side. From there, we're going to bridge up onto our elbow. Step number one. From there, step number two is onto the hand. We're looking at the kettlebell, keeping it stabilized the entire time. From there, we're going to bridge up nice and high so we have lots of room for the next step where we're going to step through with our foot still looking at the kettlebell using our obliques to step up and then from there we're just going to lunge up and step together and on the way down it's the same exact steps in reverse so lunge down hand on the ground big bridge stepping through back down elbow and onto the back and then you can bring it right back down I'd break it down step by step when I'm first learning and you can really get a full body workout by just doing this one movement. So you can switch side to side, start working on the windmills before you go up to this one and then progress on to the Turkish getup. It's a great movement and should help throughout core strength and shoulder stability.